Okay, so here we're going to try the uh, baked squash recipe. Get some squash on a cookie pan, pan uh, 400 degrees. We're going to drizzle it with olive oil. Now we're going to drizzle. Not too much. Whoa, I think that's a little bit more than drizzling. But hey, what are you going to do? So, uh, a little bit of salt. Right? This is supposed to be sea salt. Just a little bit. Salt those puppies up. And then we're going to put some pepper on it and stick it in the oven. Okay, let's set this for um, 15 minutes. Okay, so we brought these out. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm not that impressed. Um, so... It depends on how you define baked and what you're going to be doing with these. Um, I kind of want them more of a grilled look, and I probably should have grilled these with a stovetop griller. Some of the thicker ones aren't done. And I'm going to hit broil. And I'm going to put these bad boys in and just broil the top. Okay? And see if I can't get... A little bit of a crust on these make them a little bit more appetizing okay I get it we're on right okay so these have been two minutes I'm gonna take I've got a ton of fresh basil outside and these are actually starting to get nice this is more like along the lines of what I was looking for a little bit golden and I am just going to sprinkle you know I've got cumin fresh cumin out there I've got tarragon I've got all kinds of spices, but I didn't really think ahead. I'm just going to go with basil. Uh, I wish I had some Parmesan. I hate to use Parmesan as a crutch. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, like, like Mario. You know, a little olive oil and everything. Okay, so those have been a couple more minutes in there with that basil on there. Let's pull these out. Let's try a couple of greens and then a, a couple of yellows. Mmm. Surprisingly tasty. Maybe a little bit overcooked, you know. I'd, I'd have to get into the drizzling. I might brush instead of drizzle. The thing I don't like about drizzling is you're getting olive oil on some areas and 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 it's dry on the other. Maybe they meant drizzle in a you know along each piece, but that might be too much. I don't know how to drizzle. Nice crispy. Mm. Broiling it was key. Um, these crisp little brown edges. I don't mind. I think the addition of the, uh, um, the basil is good. Again, a little bit firmer on the bigger chunks. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm. No. As far as accenting this, goat cheese, I don't know, better. Cheese, 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 cheese. I love cheese. Cheese isn't supposed to be good for you, but a little Parmesan. Again, that Parmesan, once you put Parmesan, it becomes a completely different dish. There's something nice about the pure flavor of just the squash in there with a little spice. I can see some olives in here. But let's try it with the cheese. not to like. Now, again, you get some eggplant going in here. We got some eggplant. We got some, some big onion, yellow onions, maybe down the road. Uh, some eggplant. Oh, some peppers. So you can imagine this doing, doing a big pan of red and yellow and green bell peppers with some eggplant and some squash, and that would be a dish in itself. Now, I, like, I, like I mentioned, uh, I have seen some really tremendous, uh, up in San Francisco, I saw this great sandwich, and it was an eggplant sandwich, which, I mean, doesn't sound like, you know, like bread and eggplant, but it was fantastic. Imagine like a standard sandwich you would get that would have your meats inserted, but instead of your meats, you have these grilled vegetables, 
drizzled with, with maybe some balsamic vinegar. Um, and of course, we've got our, all of our lettuce going out here in the aquaponics center. Uh, so, you know, with big, you know, nice layers of crispy, fresh, um, you know, uh, I don't know, what do we have out there? We have a number of different lettuces, but that would be good too. So, I'd say overall, this is a nice, healthy um, lunch.